Today we're going to be having a friendly competition. One, which of our rods casts the furthest? And two, which one of us catches the bigger fish? Comment down below if size matters. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what are we rocking with? Oh, what's, the, what's the length? We're, holy damn, Bo. Yeah. Bo packing. 12 foot? Damn, damn, you're packing, bro. 12 feet. 12 foot. I'm I got an 8 foot. foot. Damn, I got He's the eight. smallest. So, yeah. yo, alright, yo. No cap. Let's see if size really matters. This is a, a little challenge right here. Does size matter? Does the biggest rod catch the bigger fish? Or does the shorter rod stick the strongest fish because it is more stronger? It's got more backbone. Exactly. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous. I'm going against the guana man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Pond Stars. I personally like these no light bait need to swim baits. These things are really awesome. Great action, great colors. If you're interested in purchasing one of these lures, link is gonna be in my description down below. So be sure to definitely check them out. Prince chartreuse color, one ounce jig head, five inch paddle tail. Hi, yo, what is up, yo? Welcome back to another episode of Extreme Pond Stars. We've got Iguana Man in the building. Pleasure, pleasure. Nice to have you guys here. Thanks for joining the channel. Guess what? We're going surf fishing. Mullet Run 2020, y'all already know the deal! Hey, I already know what the out. deal is. Woo, I already go. know what the deal is, yo. Really excited. We got Sergio right here. Yo, Sergio, say what's up to them, boy. What you got there? Live mullet. Oh, live mullet or mullet. Oh, okay. We got hey. some dead mullet, live mullet. We got Sergio in the building. What is up, y'all? Look what I found, bro. What is this? Oh. Oh, no, he didn't make it. Damn. Something crushed him. Hey, that might be a sign though right there. Bringing out the beauties right here. We got the VS200 right there, boy. With the gold power knob. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold, hold up, up, hold up. up, hold up. We Extreme's got the over here showing off his goods. Wait a second, let me show you what I'm working with. <laughs> Smoke. Hold on, I'm coming. Okay, okay. Oh! oh yeah. All right, we got, got the Akuma. The Kuma collar. I've got the bait runner right got here. A clicker right there. Right there. Boom. In action. But wait, check out the rod. The power knob. Okay. We have a 15 foot surf rod. Oh Look, right there. my god. Hold on. Yo. Iguana Man is not playing around today. He's bringing out a 15 foot. 1030. This is the biggest fishing rod ever. Alright, we're gonna be fishing. Damn, look how big right. that thing the is. The biggest fishing rod. Holy moly, yo. Alright, man. So, yo, stay tuned. Water looks good. We're at an unknown disclosed location, yo. You never know what's gonna happen. Stay tuned, because we might hook up on a monster. Alright, first things first, we're gonna try out the no live bait needed sardine color. We're gonna see if anything wants to eat it. Alright, we've got a guana man right there. 15 foot fishing pole, you guys. Whole sardine. Oh, snap. Jane's going in. Oh, God. Take two. Launched it. Damn. All right, yo, we got a live mullet right there. Just caught, just snagged, actually. Got the fishing guide right there in the building. And we're at the beach, so hopefully we can hook up on a monster fish, man. There's only one way to find out. You gotta stay tuned, you gotta like the video. You have to subscribe right now in order to see what's gonna happen next. So, yo, appreciate all the support. I know it's been a while, but yo, stay tuned. We've got a nice fishing guide in the building. We might just hook up on a monster. Passing that out. Hey. Got some two big donkey looking mullets. In the back. These are some nice. These are some nice mullets. They're a little oh, big. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. They're, They're right a little there. big, but I don't think the fish are gonna mind too much. No, no, no. Perfect size for a Damn, bro, just had a blue top and bite. Huh? What you got there? Alright, so we got some sardines cut in half, some bonita strips. So Captain Bo is gonna go out here and send them on his way. You gotta give them a little variety, you know? <laughs> you never know what we're gonna hook on, you never know what's out there, so. Yeah. I'm gonna go for everything, you know? Alright, for sure. I'm gonna be throwing out this bad boy right here. Little jack right here. We're gonna throw him out on the big setup. Gonna be using a four ounce right there. Three pound braid. So, gonna send him on its way, you guys. Hopefully, a big shark eats it. Again, so the fishing police are gonna be out there to make sure everybody has their license. He said sometimes they come there, so. Oh, okay. What kind of fish is out there? Like cobia, snook, tarpon? 
he said Kobe on my and yeah, a lot of jacks. He said uh, snooks, huge snooks. He said he, he seen uh, yesterday some guys called like their our boss. Uh, what do you call that? Stop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He said he, they call like a forty-four inch snook. Oh my uh, goodness. Eight foot uh, King Coda in that spot too. So. Oh Jesus. Alright, alright, go on, man. You hear that, bro? I heard him. Today we're going to be having a friendly competition. One, which of our rods casts the furthest? And two, which one of us catches the bigger fish? Comment down below if size matters. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are we rocking, bro? Oh, what's, the, what's the length? We're, holy damn, Bo. Yeah. Bo packing. 12 foot. 12 foot? Damn, damn, you're packing, bro. 12 feet. 12 foot. I'm I got an 8 foot. foot. Damn, I got He's the smallest. Eight. So, yo, alright, yo. No cap. Let's see if size really matters. There's a, little, there's a little challenge right here. Does size matter? Does the biggest rod catch the bigger fish? Or does the shorter rod stick the strongest fish because it is more stronger? It's got more backbone. Exactly. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. I'm going against a guana man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. First fish of the day. Bo's on. He still on there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, All right. Striper, yeah. Nice, there we go, first fish. Nice uh nice little grunt. That's a grunt? I thought it was a striper. I think so. I don't know, fish ID yo, what comment down below if you can down below if we should do a video with the live target mouse. 1399 yo. It's a field mouse. Comment down below if we should do a video of this. We're in real deal bait and tackle right now. Um, oh, got some big game X wraps. Damn, look at this one. I think it's huge, bro. Savage gear, pulse tail mullet. Heard some really good things about this lure, but it's, it's massive. But no live bait needed. Looks like a good saltwater lure. And right, I'm gonna cop some of these right here. Yo, so today's challenge, yo, we're going to be throwing the NLBN. And, yo, I'm going to be casting this thing all night. It's either A, I hook up on a big fish, or B, I lose it. So, I'm not switching baits. And, yo, that's the biggest challenge of the day is hooking up on the new live bait. It's a pretty cool color. What kind of color weighs that? Is that like candy green it's or like something? It's chartreuse color. One ounce jig head, five inch paddle tail. And I'm throwing it super light, 30 pound liter. Floral leader, actually 30 pound mono leader with 20 pound braid on a bass setup right here. Super light action, what? seven foot uh, BS 100, smallest size van stall. So I'm going super light, super heavy, and yo, what? it's either I catch something or I break off. That's <laughs> crazy. That's a crazy challenge right there. So yes, big boy bait, bass setup. Correct. Big boy B. That's and this line, John, this line has never been washed, you know. Um, it's been through uh, a bunch of saltwater trips. It's never been washed before, so if it breaks off, you know, rest in peace. Turn him, just turn him. Turn him. Oh, I'm piling. Can I open my bail? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's still on. Bring him in, bring him in both. Bring him right in both. Walk to the left a little bit. Right in both. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. What kind of, what kind of bait was that? That was a jack. That was a jackhead. Damn. Let's see what happened. He took a hook. He broke my leader. He yes, fished. That That's was the heaviest fish I ever caught in my life. Was it a shark, you think? Could have been. Could have been a shark, boys. Yo, let's read That was a wire leader, bro. Let's rig up and uh, throw him back. That was a, like a, like a six on the uh, hook, too. He had you wrapped around the pylons. You did, did no, the right I, I thing. Him, I got him off. Yeah, no. Yeah, you cut through it. Damn, bro. All right, rig up and throw back. <laughs> Just pulled up to another spot. Whoa, this thing looks dangerous, bro. This is danger, alligator, and snakes in the area. Stay away from the water and lake banks. Do not feed the wildlife. That is crazy. Yo, we just stumbled upon this new spot. Got Fisherman John. He's in the building. He is fishing right now. And yo, you think we're going to hook up? Of course. Have a little bit of confidence about place. So you guys are probably used to seeing big spillways, big waterfalls. Here in South Florida, we stumble upon a broken pipe. Alright, we pulled up to the spot. Um, wait, bro, is that a kayak right there? I don't know. 
kayak. Yo, there's a kayak at the OG spot. Um, John, you thinking what I'm thinking, bro? I think I am thinking what you're thinking. Yo, we're gonna try to launch the kayak into the water and go out. Not sure if it's a great idea or not sure if it's a bad idea. But it's an idea. But it is an idea. You are absolutely right, bro. So, yo, we're just gonna put the idea to the test. We're gonna throw the DOA bait buster. We're gonna throw, we got some gambler lures. We got some no light bait needed. Um, yo, we don't know what else to say, but let's try to get into it. All right, there she blows, yo. This is a big old kayak. It looks roughly about, uh, I don't know, 16, 17 feet. This thing looks huge. All right, yo, just flip the kayak over. Oh, oh it's a mouse. Oh, bro, there's a mouse right there. Oh my God, we have a new friend, you guys. All right, yo, at the very last second, we got us a snook. He's stuck up in there. <laughs> Very last second, you guys. Not even playing. Snook came out of nowhere and just crushed. Snook came out of nowhere and crushed the DOA bait buster. It's going crazy. Calm down, Mr. Snook. Calm down, bro. Oh, we doubled up. We doubled up. Bring him over. Bring him over. <laughs> Alright, your very last second. Snook right here crushed the DOA bait buster. Oh, he's going crazy. He's going crazy. DOA bait buster right in his mouth. We got Fisherman John right here in the building. He just doubled up on two nice snook. Crazy. What are you using for bait? Let's see what you got. Using this little three inch gambler. Three inch gambler lure right here. Corner around the shake head. Wow, okay. Small little, like, maybe like a 10 inch snook. All right, not bad, not bad. And right before that, this snook right here came up and thumped the DOA bait buster at the very last second. The reason why I think this lure works so well, it doesn't really look realistic. It looks like legit a retarded mullet. Hook set right in the corner. All right, go ahead and... All right, Fishman John, release that little snook right there. And to go back to your friends. Alright, uh, your very last second, got this nice snook right here. Beautiful snook. Crushed the DOA bait buster. Oh man, they shake all the time. Right there, you guys. Beautiful snook. Crushed the bait buster. Without further ado, we're gonna send them on its way. You see the eggs? Yeah. Oh, bro, I do see the eggs. That's why they're so friendly out here. And I realized my other friend was oh. a female because the males have really big claws it's the females that's that are out right now and they're they're just being really wow. friendly i think they're getting ready to to lay their eggs there's at least like a thousand eggs in there should we do a crab catching cook i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs>